welcome back to 17 square meters garden it's bright and early in the morning and i'm starting with yet another quick morning project and today we are going to talk about soil repurposing and soil revitalizing if you garden in pots on your balcony on your patio or on your terrace i'm sure that at some point you ask yourself a question can i reuse my old potting mix do i have to buy new fresh soil every year or can I just take my old soil and plant my new plants directly in it? So the good news is that you can totally reuse your old potting mix, but there's a few things that you'll have to take in consideration and also a few things that you'll have to add back into that soil. So first let's focus on a few examples where it may not be the best idea to repurpose your old potting mix. First, if you dealt with any pests or diseases. Uh, so if you had any plant disease, there is still a risk that um, that disease is active in the soil or in that pot and you wouldn't want to spread it further into your garden. The same with pests, although pests, it's a little bit more flexible. I highly recommend that you make yourself a little research on the pest that you dealt with. Check how that pest overwinters, because if that pest has any life form that overwinters in soil, for example, as eggs or as larvae, then of course that's a risk that you are spreading this pest further into your garden and you wouldn't want to go to all that effort just to have more troubles and to have that pest after attack your other plants as well. And the second thing is flowers, and that might be a little bit surprising for you, but if you had flowers that self-seed easily, for example, like poppies, surely some seeds fell on the soil surface and there is a high chance that they are gonna germinate. So if you don't want to have those flowers randomly popping in your new pots, then take that in consideration and maybe don't repurpose the entire soil, just remove the top layer of soil where the seeds uh, normally would be located as they fell on the soil surface. So remove the top layer of that soil and repurpose uh, whatever is left in that pot. So the reason why we have to revitalize the soil, why we can't plant directly in it, is because the plants that you grew in it last year probably used up all the nutrients that were available in that soil. So right now that soil has no more nutrients left, so your new plants wouldn't be very happy and wouldn't grow very healthy. Secondly, the potting mix in containers tends to compact really easily because as we water and as the rainwater hits the soil surface, it just gets, the soil particles gets pushed further and further down, causing a compaction. So then the roots of your plant can't spread easily, can develop properly, the water can't pass and evacuate properly, there's no oxygen around the root zone, so that is just not a very good environment for your plants to grow. Okay, so prepare yourself a one or several larger buckets or larger pots uh, to be able to dump all of your soil into this pot so that it's easier for you to mix it in. If you have a bigger pot, that's even better, uh, but that's the biggest that I have on hand. Bring your old potting soil. Make sure that there's no plant debris. So no roots, no dead plant material, uh, no plant parts, nothing, just bare soil. Okay, so first we need to bring back those nutrients into the soil, we need to bring that soil life back to it because soil without life is basically a dirt and we don't want to grow plants in dirt, right? We want to grow plants in healthy, living soil with good bacteria, with good fungi that will help our plants absorb nutrients, that will defend our plants from any pest and disease attacks. So, of course, what are we gonna add is compost. They are filled with two thirds to half of the old potting mix and I'm gonna add about one third of compost. Okay, it's actually easier to work on the floor than in this large pot. So now that we have our organic matter incorporated into the soil, we brought back that life into the soil, those good bacteria, good fungi, microorganisms. Uh, we have to make sure that it's gonna be a well-draining potting mix, that there's an air around the root zone. So we are gonna add perlite. And perlite is a mineral that will help aerate the soil. If your pot has drainage holes at the bottom, which it should have, then you don't have to add additional layer of anything, of gravel, pebbles, anything like that at the bottom. You just need to make sure that your potting mix is well draining and for that we are gonna add perlite. Recommended ratio for perlite is between probably 15 to 30 percent for like most outdoor plants but don't count on me to be very precise with this. Okay so what we've got going in this pot already is great. 
So at this point you could add slow release fertilizer, which is what I'm gonna do. Although what I am using as a slow release fertilizer this year is worm castings. So worm castings is basically a worm poop. So the worms, as they eat compost, as they eat organic matter in the soil, they poop out worm castings and they are actually very, very rich in nutrients. These are the nutrients that are um, immediately available to your plant. So that's great as a slow release fertilizer. I have plenty of earthworms like everywhere in my pots. When I leave the pot, there's plenty of earthworms underneath. So I know that my soil is already really good and the, those earthworms are working and they are giving the nutrients to my plants. So that's why this year I want to add worm castings as a form of slow release nutrients for my plants. So I'm gonna add uh, about two, three handfuls of this into my freshly prepared potting mix. I know that you might find it disgusting that I'm touching a worm poop with my bare hands, but well, that's just gardening. And there you have it. There is a great quality potting mix ready for your new plants to grow healthy and vigorously. Of course, there's no one way of soil regeneration. You can totally get nerdy about it. You can play with the ratio and adjust it accordingly to the different needs of different plants. But what I just showed you is really basic, really general way of adding life, adding nutrients back into the soil to prepare it to grow new plants this season. So as to your other plants, of course, you don't have to repot them every single year. That's not even recommended. But every two, three seasons, if you see that the pot starts to be a little bit too small for your plant, it's a good habit to put it in a container about two sizes bigger to give it enough space for the healthy root development. So as you repot your plant, you can, uh, of course, add organic matter. You can repurpose that old soil, just everything that we did today, or you can put it into fresh soil if that's what you wish. But other than that, if you already have plants grown in pots, just add, let's say, once or twice a year, a layer of organic matter. So I put compost on top of soil, or I will add worm casting to make sure that those plants, they have some nutrients to grow healthy. I hope that you found these informations useful, that it encouraged you to also repurpose your old potting mix, to not throw it away, to not have to buy a new one, uh, but to regenerate your old soil and to put it to a good use this season. Thank you for watching and I will see you again in my next video. Bye!